Hello, twin. How are you today? I hope you are all doing well. I'm Gabby, and once again, I'm going to be your teacher for today. Look, today we have our class number 12, and we're going to start working on the book, right? The book Discover English 1, page 69. Okay, have you got your book? Let's see. Wow, look at this! Celebrations! This is a new unit about celebrations. And here we have a picture of Ben. He's very happy. He's got a birthday hat and a balloon. He says, Hi, we are writing about celebrations today. When are your favorite celebrations? So, kids, have you got any favorite celebration? Look at the pictures here. We have some examples. Easter, Chinese New Year, Halloween, Christmas. What is your favorite celebration? Can you write it on the chat? I'm going to tell you mine. My favorite celebration is New Year. What about you? Great. And when is it? When is your favorite celebration? For example, my favorite celebration is New Year and New Year is in December. What about yours? When is your favorite celebration? Cool, very good. Now, do you remember the month of the year? Look at these words. Yes, we studied this before, right? These are the months. But here, they are all mixed up. We have to complete the calendar, putting the months in order. For example, we know that the first month of the year is January, and the last one, the 12th month of the year, is December. Now, can you help me with the other ones? Let's try to put them all in order, all right? So, the first month is January. What is the second month? Do you know? Can you write it on the chat? Yes, perfect. It is February. Very good. What's next? Come on, help me. Let's go on. We have to write them all. January, February, March. Very good. The third month is March. Perfect. What's the next? Number four, the fourth month of the year. April. Mm -hmm. January, February, March, April. Mm -hmm. May. Very good. Come on, let's go on. June, perfect. And after June comes July, okay. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Come on. August, perfect. August, what's next? September. Whoops. Then good October and yes, November. Perfect. So the twelve months of the year are these. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. All right? Excellent. Now, we are going to do activity number three here. Look, we have a question. When is Monica's birthday? And look at this. It's a birthday cake. Yummy. And here we have some sentences. They are clues for us to guess 
when is Monica's birthday? Okay, so let's read them. It's in winter. It's after Christmas. It's a short month. It's got eight letters. Okay, nos va dando pistas para que adivinemos cuándo es su cumple. Okay, so let's see. Well, <clears throat> la última, it's got eight letters, of course. The name of the month, one of these words, right, has got eight letters. Then it's a short month. Look, it's a short month. Nosotros sabemos que no todos los meses del de año duran lo mismo, ¿sí? Tenemos meses más largos de 31 días o meses más cortos de 30 días, ¿ok? O bueno, incluso febrero que dura 28, 29, ¿sí? Entonces, para esto vamos a considerar que los de 31 días son los meses largos, long months, y los de 30 o menos van a ser los meses cortos, short months, ¿ok? Then, she also says it's after Christmas, ¿ok? After, remember, it means después. Después de, remember, Navidad, yes, after Christmas, ¿ok? And it's in winter. Winter, do you remember the four seasons? Winter, spring, summer, autumn, ok? So, Monica's birthday is in winter, it's after Christmas, it's a short month, and it's got eight letters. Un comentario te voy a hacer respecto de las estaciones del año. Remember that Monica is from England, and when it's winter in England, it's summer here, ok? Mónica, Ben y los chicos del libro viven en Inglaterra. Inglaterra queda en el hemisferio norte. Eso significa que cuando allá es invierno, acá es verano. Nuestras estaciones son al revés que las de ellos, ¿sí? Y cuando acá es primavera, para ellos es otoño, ¿sí? Siempre estamos al revés. Entonces, cuando Mónica dice, it's in winter, en realidad nosotros tenemos que pensar en nuestros meses de verano, right? December, January, February, ok, it's after Christmas, después de Navidad. Entonces, diciembre seguro que no, right? It's after Christmas. It's a short month and it's got eight letters. Do you know what month is it? Do you know the answer? Come on, write it on the chat. Have you guessed? Yes, excellent, it's February. All right, yes, it's got eight letters. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a short month, it's after Christmas, and it's in winter in the UK, of course. Great, well done. Now, we are going to do activity number two, but not on the book, we are going to do it in the folders, okay? Este ejercicio de acá, el segundo, number two, lo vamos a hacer en la carpeta, porque le vamos a tener que agregar algunas cosas que acá en el libro no nos entran, ¿ok? Look, it says, which month, cuál mes, ¿ok? Nosotros nos vamos a la carpeta, yo me quedé con esto para que lo, te, para que lo tengamos a la vista. But first, we are going to write a title. Vamos a poner un título primero que nada, ¿ok? We are going to write book. Page 69, exercise 2. Ok, esto es para que nos quede ordenado todo en la carpeta y que sepamos que las oraciones que vamos a ir copiando vienen de una actividad del libro. Ok, copy this. Vos también copia tu título. Book, page 69, exercise 2. Ok. Remember, the question is which month. Nos pregunta en qué mes suceden estas cosas, ¿ok? When, cuándo, pero siempre contestando con el mes. Por eso fíjense que tenemos in y no on o at, ¿ok? We write the months. So, look at number one. I go on holiday in... Mm -mm -mm. 
Remember, go on holiday means irse de vacaciones, right? So, when do you go on holiday? Acá no vamos a tener todos lo mismo, esto es personal, ¿sí? Tengo que pensar cuándo, en qué mes del año me voy yo de vacaciones. So, look at my example. I go on holiday in January. And what about you? When do you go on holiday? Ok, excelente. Entonces, lo que vas a hacer ahora es en la carpeta, debajo del título que pusimos, copiar la primera oración. You write number one and you copy. I go on holiday in... No tenés que copiar mi mes, salvo que justo coincida, ¿ok? Vos pones el mes en que vos te vas de vacaciones. Come on, copy your sentence. Copien rápido, no se atrasen. Ok, now let's do the next. My birthday is in... Mm -mm -mm. Ok, so when is your birthday? Now, look, again, it says in. So we cannot write the date. Yo no puedo poner la fecha exacta con el día y el mes. No, just the month. Ok, si fuera la fecha exacta tendríamos que usar on, pero tenemos in. So, for example, my birthday is in November. What about you? When is your birthday? You can write it on the chat and then you copy sentence number two. My birthday is in... Mm -mm -mm. Good. And now let's complete the next. This is about Christmas. Do you remember Christmas? It's a celebration. Look, here we have a photo, a Christmas tree. So when is Christmas? Do you remember? Christmas is in which month? Yes, very good. It's in December. All right. Please copy sentence number three. Christmas is in December. Acá sí ya tenemos todos lo mismo. No es personal como las otras anteriores. So Christmas is a celebration. But here in the book we have other celebrations. For example, Easter, right? Do you know what Easter means? This photo helps, right? Look at the chocolate egg. Yes, Easter means Pascua, okay? So, let's write a sentence about Easter. Después de estas tres que copiaste, we write another one, number four, okay? And we talk about Easter. So, when is Easter? Do you know? Okay. En, según el año puede ir cambiando, ¿sí? porque no tiene un día exacto, pero normalmente cae durante el mes de abril. Ok, so we are going to write Easter is in April. All right, copy this, come on. And then one more sentence about another celebration. What celebration is it? What can we write about? A celebration that's coming soon. Do you know? Look at the book again. Yes, it's Halloween. Let's talk about Halloween now. So, do you know when Halloween is? Do you remember? I love Halloween in Oxford. Yes, well done. Halloween is in October. Perfect. So copy sentence number five to, okay? Halloween is in October. Good work, everyone. Now 
let's continue working and I want to show you a photo. Look at this photo. Who are they? Do you know their names? Look at the two girls. Yes, they are Monica and Gemma. And where are they? Where are they? Are they at school? Are they at home? No, right? Where are they? They are at a shop. Yes, excellent. Okay. And what have they got? Look at Gemma. What is she holding? What are they looking at? What are these? Yes, they are cards, right? Probably birthday cards. All right. Excellent. So now we are going to work on the next handout of today's class. This one. All right. Happy birthday, Ben. Okay. Take this handout and we are going to complete it. This is a conversation between Gemma and Monica. Yes, the two girls. It's a conversation. And we are going to listen to it and you complete the missing words. All right. Remember, this is about Ben's birthday. Happy birthday, Ben. Let's listen to the girls and you write the missing words. Okay. You're going to listen to the recording twice two times. ¿sí? Les voy a pasar el audio dos veces para que puedan ir completando esto. Un comentario chiquitito antes de empezar. A veces en los cuadritos que tienen vacíos no va una palabra sino dos. ¿Ok? Puede que haya más de una palabra. ¿Ok? So one or two words. ¿Sí? Tranquilos si la primera vez no lo llegan a completar todo porque lo vamos a pasar dos veces. All right. Let's listen. Come on, pay attention and write. Unit 7A, Exercise 1. Listen and read. Hey, Monica. Oh, hi. I'm looking for a card for Ben. It's his birthday on Saturday. Yes, you're right. I never remember birthdays. How about buying a present with me? Okay, but what? We often buy football things for Felix. Hmm, I don't know. What about a CD? That's a good idea. He likes rock music. He usually listens to McFly. But he's got all their music. He sometimes listens to pop music too. Uh, how about a Shakira CD? Yeah. Shakira CDs are always good. Let's buy one and listen to it today. That isn't fair, Gemma. It's for Ben. We aren't opening his presents now. It's a joke, Monica. But it's my birthday in June. Oh, Gemma. Okay. Now... I'm going to play the recording one more time. You listen and write. Come on. Unit 7A, exercise one. Listen and read. Hey, Monica. Oh, hi. I'm looking for a card for Ben. It's his birthday on Saturday. Yes, you're right. I never remember birthdays. How about buying a present with me? Okay, but what? We often buy football things for Felix. Hmm, I don't know. What about a CD? That's a good idea. He likes rock music. He usually listens to McFly. But he's got all their music. He sometimes listens to pop music too. Uh, how about a Shakira CD? Yeah, Shakira CDs are always good. Let's buy one and listen to it today. That isn't fair, Gemma. It's for Ben. We aren't opening his presents now. It's a joke, Monica. But it's my birthday in June. Oh, Gemma. 
Okay, excellent. Are you ready to check now? Well, please take your green pen and let's check this conversation together. Happy birthday, Ben. Let's read. Hey, Monica. Oh, hi. I'm looking for a card for Ben. It's his birthday. Mm -mm -mm. What did you write here? Can you write it on the chat? Come on, can you help me? Good, on Saturday. Perfect. So, it's his birthday on Saturday. Yes, you're right. I mm, remember birthdays. Now? Good, excellent. I never remember birthdays. Well done. Mm -mm -mm, buying a present with me. Now, can you write it on the chat? Excellent. How about, it's an invitation, a suggestion. How about buying a present with me? Okay, but what? Okay, entonces, fíjense que se encuentran Gemma y Mónica. Remember, Mónica, Gemma, and Mónica is looking for a card for Ben. Está buscando alguna tarjeta para él, para Ben, because it's his birthday. And they've got an idea. Okay, how about buying a present with me? Mónica le propone a Gemma comprar un regalo juntas. Yes, how about buying a present with me? Okay, but what? We often buy mm -mm -mm for Felix. ¿Llegaron a escuchar esto? Gemma acepta comprar un regalo con Mónica y se ponen a pensar qué le pueden regalar. She says, we often buy football things for Felix. Cosas de fútbol, right? Football things. We often buy football things for Felix. Mm, I don't know. What about mm -mm -mm, a new suggestion? Could you write it? Excellent. A CD. What about a CD? That's a good idea. He mm, rock music. Now, can you tell me? Good. He likes rock music. Si te olvidaste de la S, agregala, right? He okay. likes rock music. He usually, mm, to McFly. And now, what's missing? Excellent. Listens. Again, remember the letter S. He usually listens to McFly. But he's got older, mm, What's the correct word now? Do you know? Music. Very good. Okay. Entonces, deciden comprar un CD, right? What about a CD? That's a good idea. He likes rock music. He usually listens to McFly. But he's got all their music. McFly is el nombre de una banda. ¿Sí? Dice, pero de ellos ya tiene todo. Okay. He's got all their music. And then, he mm -mm -mm, listens to pop music too. What's missing now? Yes, very good. Sometimes. Oops, sorry. There we go. He sometimes listens to pop music too. And now? Yes, very good. How about... Shakira CD. Yeah, Shakira CDs are always good. Mm, buy one and listen to it today. ¿Qué dice Gemma ahora? Great. Let's. Let's buy one and listen to it today. Dice, dale, compremos uno y lo escuchamos ahora. Pero Mónica dice, that isn't fair, Gemma. It's for Ben. We aren't opening mm -mm, now. Okay, do you know? Good, very good. His presence. 
It's for Ben. We aren't opening his presents now. It's a joke, Monica. But it's my birthday in... Hmm. When is Gemma's birthday? Could you write it? Come on, tell me on the chat. In June. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, Gemma. All right. Now with your green pen, you can write corrected in class. Okay. Perfect. This is ready. Now we are going to go back to the book. All right. And work on page 70. Okay. Let me show you here. Page 70 of the book. Look, here we have Monica and Gemma. Yes, they are looking for a card for Ben because it's his birthday. And again, we have this conversation. All right. We're going to listen to it and read it one more time. Ahora que ya la tenemos completa, la vamos a leer desde acá del libro una vez más. También voy a pasar el audio. Pero presten atención para recordar bien algunos detalles porque la próxima actividad va a tener que ver con lo que sucede en este diálogo. Ok, so let's listen and read the story one more time. Unit 7A, Exercise 1. Listen and read. Hey, Monica. Oh, hi. I'm looking for a card for Ben. It's his birthday on Saturday. Yes. You're right. I never remember birthdays. How about buying a present with me? Okay, but what? We often buy football things for Felix. Hmm, I don't know. What about a CD? That's a good idea. He likes rock music. He usually listens to McFly. But he's got all their music. He sometimes listens to pop music too. Uh, how about a Shakira CD? Yeah, Shakira CDs are always good. Let's buy one and listen to it today. That isn't fair, Gemma. It's for Ben. We aren't opening his presents now. It's a joke, Monica. But it's my birthday in June. Oh, Gemma. Ok, I think it's clear, creo que con lo que fuimos explicando, sí, quedó claro. De todas formas, si te quedó alguna duda de este diálogo, le podés preguntar a tu profe por el chat también. Ok, now we're going to do exercise number two. True or false? Correct the false sentences. So, here we have some sentences about the conversation between Gemma and Monica. We have to write if they are true or false and then correct the false ones. We have one example. Look at number one. Monica and Gemma are in a cafe. No, it's false, right? They are not in a cafe. But now we have to correct the sentence, okay? And we can correct it saying Monica and Gemma are not in a cafe. Where are they? Do you remember? Yes, in a shop. Ok. Así sería correcta. Si la tuviéramos que corregir, nos queda así. Lo vamos a ir haciendo también con las demás porque es lo que nos piden esta consigna. Ok, let's write number two. It's Ben's birthday today. So first, is this true or false? It's false. Very good. Why is it false? Yes, excellent. Look, it's his birthday on Saturday, right? On Saturday, not today. This is wrong, so we have to correct it again. We are going to say it's Ben's birthday on Saturday, yes? Mm -hmm. 
Let's continue now. Monica is buying Ben a card. Monica is buying Ben a card. Recuerden que buy es la acción de comprar. Yes or no? Is it true or false? It's true, yes. She's at the shop looking for a card for Ben. That's true. So we don't need to correct this sentence. Then, Ben doesn't like rock music. Is this true or false? Can you write it on the chat? It's false. Very good. Let's go back to the text. A ver si encuentran dónde estaba hablando de esto. Here, look. He likes rock music. That is the correct sentence. Okay, so again, we have to correct our sentence number four, but we are not going to say he doesn't like rock music. No, we are going to say he likes rock music. All right? Then, Ben's got a lot of McFly CDs. A lot of means muchos. Okay, remember McFly is the name of the band. Ben's got a lot of McFly CDs. True or false? Yes, very good. It's true. Okay, decía, he's got all their music. De ellos tenía todo. Okay, por eso no le compran un CD de esta banda. So this is true. Great. Finally, Gemma's birthday isn't in June. Okay, this is not about Ben's birthday, but about Gemma's birthday. Gemma's birthday isn't in June. True or false? Very good. This is false. Okay. Because we read before that Gemma's birthday is in June, right? So we need to correct that. We are going to make it positive, an affirmative sentence. So we say Gemma's birthday is in June, all right? Perfect, kids. Now we have one more activity here, exercise three. So this is about talking tips. We have two phrases that appeared in the conversation. Estas dos frases de acá aparecieron en el diálogo. ¿sí? Look, that isn't fair, that's a good idea. Vuelvo acá al diálogo a ver si encontrás dónde habían aparecido. That isn't fair, that's a good idea. Can you find them? Perfect, here. That's a good idea, there's one. And yes, that isn't fair. Ok. Una de estas ya la conocemos, ¿sí? Fíjense, es como una respuesta a una suggestion. What about a CD? That's a good idea. And here, when Gemma says, yeah, Shakira CDs are always good. Let's buy one and listen to it today. That isn't fair, Gemma, it's for Ben. Ok. Acá vemos en el ejercicio número 3 las frases pero usadas en situaciones distintas, en otro contexto. Look at picture A and picture B. There are two boys. In picture A, this boy has got an idea and he's sharing the ice cream with the other boy. So they are both happy. The two boys are happy. In picture B, One boy is happy because he's got two ice creams, but the other boy is very sad because he's not sharing, okay? So, let's read the two phrases again. That isn't fair. That's a good idea. So, in picture A, what do you say? That isn't fair or that's a good idea? What do you think? Yes, that's a good idea. Es una buena idea compartir. Ok. Good. And 
In picture B, we are going to say, that isn't fair. Estamos diciendo que no es justo. Okay, that isn't fair. All right. Great, people. Now we are ready and you are going to continue with the next part of the class on Zoom with your teachers. Okay, bye bye everyone. I hope you have fun on the rest of the class. See you next time.